good morning. Boy, I almost made the first mistake of the day. This is the old coffee cup. This is the new coffee cup. I'm going to set the old one way far away. I almost had a week old coffee in my mouth. Yeah. Just, just in case anyone was curious. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Josh. I think, um, we have two iPhones joining us today. One's a Firefly's notebook and a six M and D and G. Which I'm guessing are newcomers to the meeting because otherwise they'd know that they'd be mogged for their <laughs> Zoom names. <laughs> um, all right, let's start this meeting. So, this is the website call where we discuss everything related to the layer five site projects. There are currently five four running on Jekyll and one running on Gatsby. Um, more expanding that later. Apart from that, we have a pretty full agenda today. But before we start, um, we have this age old embarrassing tradition for newcomers to introduce themselves on the first call they attend. And I really like the name Fireflies. So would you like to start Fireflies? And please tell us your name. Uh, hi. Hey. Uh, they said Vishal. Actually, my name is 6MDNG. So I will change that name. And I'm a new member. I'm joining the meeting first time. All right. Thanks. Um, do you want to tell us a little about yourself? Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. I'm working as a DevOps engineer and I have almost five year experience. So I've been working with technology like Kubernetes. Uh, Istio and uh, other Kubernetes uh, stuffs. So I means I want to learn and contribute to this uh, open source. Welcome, Ayush. Nice. Vishal, Vishal, they said. Oh, Vish oh, okay. Oh, yeah. oh, I totally got the six M. Okay. <laughs> now yeah. I'm getting. Nice. We have two Vishals in the call then. Oh boy, I, I shouldn't be responsible for taking notes. It's just a problem. Hey Lee, are you sure? Oh, there he is. Not okay. Other than six M nine D N G. Okay. And I'm not the Fireflies. I guess uh, Fireflies is like a note taker app. It's like a bot, I guess. Uh, we're generally using like to record the meetings and transcript of the meetings so that it's easier to review the meetings. And I'm not using. I'm just telling. What is this? I, I have used before in my classes as well. Before. Oh, okay. Uh, it kind of works like that. I think, I don't know if like the real person is also available. The person who invited this bot or the person. I mean, just confusion. Yeah. So that's how it works. And sorry for being so, the, not attending the meeting lately. I'm just, I, I, I think I met DM'd you. I, I just, my semester got over and the placement was going on. So now I'm kind of free. <laughs> not uh, completely free to focus on this. <laughs> yeah, no, no sweat. It's not, it's not like you have exams or anything like that. <laughs> or uh, we, I had exams, finally done with them. And yep. Oh, awesome. Someone I I spying us. Maybe someone <laughs> is spying us. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good thing, I, I suspect, I think. I think we need password <laughs> for the Zoom meeting. Oh, uh, sure. All right. Um, Kashyap, would you like to go next? Uh, yeah. So, 
Myself, Kashyap, I have total 12 years of experience. So presently I'm working in one of the big cloud MNC uh, as a cloud solution architect. So I have pretty good experience in all the cloud platforms, predominantly on AWS and GCP. And also have very good experience in uh, Kubernetes, uh, serverless technologies like uh, AWS Lambdas. And uh, yeah, I work on some of the like um, creating solutions on top of cloud platforms, scalable solutions. Hopefully horizontally scalable. That would be yeah, 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 yes, of course. Nowadays. <laughs> That's awesome. That's fantastic. That's, um, that's great. By the way, both four, I think, um, uh, Kashep and Vishal, um, it's fantastic that you guys are here, first of all. Um, um, but second, um, as you look across the calendar of meetings that are held in the community, you, will, you might be naturally attracted to some versus the next. Um, you're absolutely welcome to join all of them. Please do. Um, in this particular one, we end up talking about, um, well, uh, there's a number of web properties that represent the various open source projects. And there's also um, a web app, well, a couple web apps for Meshery. And, um, and, and so it's on this call that we end up talking much more about those items. And, um, and then, geez, I'm trying to think real quick on the Wednesday call for is it's called the Meshery development call. There's, it's fairly, it's somewhat varied. The amount of, you know, the, the, the types, the number and types of technologies that come up. It, um, it's not infrequent that we're talking about things the, the, some of the same technologies that both of you had just mentioned. So you, you might find that Wednesday call is, a, is, an, is one of interest. The community call on Friday as well is pretty broad in its set of topics. We often have people presenting work that they've done here or uh, just people sort of within the broader ecosystem, uh, different service mesh teams coming and presenting. And, and so, yeah, there's a lot to there's a lot to get into. Um, I think um, Vishal, Vishal and I were chatting about a GitHub Action workflow, or we use GitHub Actions across, I don't know, the forty something repos that we have. Some of the workflows are somewhat complex. Some of them are pretty simple, but some DevOps oriented things happen in there. Moreover, the projects themselves, we have like Meshery specifically. We have too few um, um, hardcore users giving, trying to do different things with meshery, trying to do different things with service meshes, and too few of them giving feedback. Uh, or like here's an example: someone was in the community recently and was asking, was looking at the compatibility matrix for meshery, like what platforms can you deploy meshery onto. And there's, there's a list. It's like, hey, we've, we've verified Meshery, Meshery working in EKS, in GKE, in, on Docker, and all these. But one of the ones that we've yet to do it on to verify compatibility with like, is uh, OpenShift. And there's no doubt that Meshery is compatible with OpenShift. Uh, the doubt is, oh, is there, an, another, is there something else to configure, like another portion of the instructions that we might need to update specific to OpenShift. So you know, just kind of a random example of like, of the fact that there's uh, that while there may not be a ton of, there might be some DevOps discussion on this call or DevOps related or cloud solution architecture related things, but, but don't be mistake. Don't think that there isn't a ton of that happening. If you hear in the community, if you don't see it on this call, so. There is, <laughs> and and if you and if you can't see it, um, I come come tell me or or there's some others in the community that I'll point you to that, that you should um, meet and be introduced to. They'll 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 tell you. So they'll they'll, they'll point you in the right direction. Uh, 
All right. Um, that being said, let's move on to the agenda. We're already 30 minutes in. Tanuj, will you like to start us off? Yeah. Uh, I'll let you share your screen. Is my screen visible? Yep, it is. Uh, okay, so th in this, uh, basically, I switched over the headings my uh, font for the headings to the new font uh, but uh, for some reason uh, lee pointed out that it is not looking the same as the one in the figma demos but uh, still trying to figure out why it is not due to the font size uh, as far as i know because i tried changing the font size and it is having no no effect here so uh, Apart from that, uh, the font is taking effect that I know, but due to some reason, there is some problem in the home page. I don't know from where it is taking the CSS currently. Yeah, I got it. Hey, one, one thing to, to test out Tanuj is, I think in the, um, the, brand, uh, the brand guide that highlights, you know, that, that specifies what that specifies the topology, the typography. <laughs> Funny, we talk about visual topology so much in some of the other projects that I. Anyway, the type, the typography. Um, I think it it defines the typography in. In pixels, uh, it, but we would do well to move over to, REM, or to EM, um, and as a point of curiosity or, or a point of troubleshooting, you might, if you did specify pixels, then maybe try a different um, me um, measurement. And maybe, I don't know if that would, uh, that, that, probably, that may or may not have any effect. Another thing to, to, actually, this is just kind of a point of interest to me in general. You know how it says operate any service mesh with confidence. Um, whoa. Two, well, one, if you would, if we can drop the period, that would be good, I, I think. Um, and try, try this if you would, because it'll help us see how much of the font we're, we're successfully able to manipulate. There's a, the, the, in, in that font itself, there's the, I think it's called, light, there's the regular um, light, light italics, something, something the operate any service mesh if you were to go to the light or uh, up a level i think there's like two there's like six levels of thick of um, weight um, maybe specify by name not by weight so much but by name the um, canela's soft light or skinny or whatever it's called for the operate the operate any service mesh part maybe that let's see what that Uh, can someone knock over my screen? I think my screen just froze. Yeah, we can. <laughs> yeah, you know, I can. We can see your mouse moving, but um... I cannot see anything moving. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow! Cool. I'm, I'm just sharing the my screen. Hey, by the way, I'm curious, did everyone who's seeing the screen, does does it look, does this look any different than it did on Tanuja's? It's interesting because it feels like th these are skinnier on my, 
Straight. Yeah. Um, yeah, a I little think, bit. Yeah, it looks it like it's skinnier here. Nice. Well, to, to news, um, the, all of these are all of these properties are defined within. Is it the Gat? What is it, Gatsby? Is it the? Um, there's a central file for that definition, right? Uh, for the font part. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, it's it, uh, yeah, it's defined in a central file. It's something okay. in the font wrapper or something. Okay. Well, uh, hey, I'm, I'm game to maybe troubleshoot a little bit after the call. I don't know that I've got any really uh, great suggestions at the moment. Uh, one thing, like for the complete site, are we going to use the Canela's font or only for a few headings or something? Yeah. So good, great, great questions. Let me let me pull up the a reference. Um, it is. It was an. It was announced in the. Um, in the Slack channel, which is which is like really easy to miss, and so, <clears throat> and so there's there's a, a halfway complete brand guide that that, um, that most of you have seen in the past, and this just talks about the Layer Five community and who we think we are and what we sort of stand for, who we're, what we're trying to. It sort of characterizes the, the a bit of the culture and part of our vision and what we're trying to achieve and et cetera, et cetera. And part of that is. Um, the fact that we're the, the part of that is like rules around how to make things look pretty, I guess. Um, so in here, the short answer to your question, um, Nikhil, is that there's, I think what the intention is to use two fonts. Um, Open Sans is what we've been using and we would continue to use that, but primarily, primarily for, for, for most text like for the, the body, the paragraphs, uh, that type of thing. And then where we have headings to use a very, well, mostly similar looking, slightly different font, Canela soft, but just for uh, headings. Um, and, and when you think of it like, I don't know this. I don't. I don't know that this is technically a heading here or not. I mean, maybe this is like a heading to the. Anyway, this this should be Open Sans, and then this should be Canela's font. So this should be Open Sans, and this should be Canela's font. Or Canela's soft. I'm sorry. So. Yeah, and yeah. So right now that this isn't. I mean, yeah. There's. But does that make sense, Nikhil? About yeah. So the project's card text, like the project's name, should be Canela's font, right? Correct. Okay. So one thing that I noticed just now by inspecting it, the P tags that we have on our site, it is getting the Open Sans font. Okay. And the headings are getting the Canela Sans. Nice. Okay. Good. That's intentional. That's uh, so. So Canela's Canela's soft. So yeah, the project's card, the project name is written using the p tags, and that's the reason I guess it's getting the open sense. Okay. Yeah, that definitely doesn't look right. Okay. So that's an that's an item. Uh, what else or any, any anything further that we should discuss on that? I think I think we're halfway there. So if we have all the what the fonts installed, then we can just have a typography review for the entire website. If you have wait wait say it again. If you have the fonts installed, yeah, like if the installation and configuration of both the fonts are done. And we can just have a typography review for the entire website, like look into where all those uh, changes are to be done. Nice. Um, while I take notes, uh, next, next topic or any other comments?
Okay, uh, sounds like not. Yeah, so next up, so Tanuj, you're, you're up again. Yeah, uh, maybe you should only share because it may freeze again. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, so uh, what I did currently was uh, I used uh, two things for finding related posts. Like, if two posts have a common tag, uh, then that blog I am giving suppose plus one point, and if the categories are same, I am giving plus two points. So, like this, who are having the most points after? Uh, then the top six I'm displaying here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So like theoretically, theoretically th this leftmost um, blog post could have like five, six points if like, you know, four tags overlapped and two categories overlapped, something like that. Like, and then some of them might just have one point or something. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, all of them has three points because uh, the tags have been assigned the same for them, all the blogs currently. And categories have not been defined, so I commented out that code for now. Good. And then do we cut it, if we had a thousand posts, do we cut it off after? I uh, Currently, I'm setting the limit at six. Okay. Nice. Uh, looks pretty good. Hey, just quick feedback from me. Um, that that sounds. Thanks for that logic. That sounds like better logic than I could have suggested. In part, what I was going to potentially suggest before is something much more, something worse probably, something more static. Like, um, if you really want, you know, if you really wanted to make sure that these were highly relevant suggestions, that what what the author of a given post would do as as the, the, the three individuals that wrote this post were writing it, um, just before publishing, they would, they would identify you know, the ID or the name or the link to the other posts that they think are related. And, and that's uh, pretty static. So, so thanks for putting some thought into a system. That system makes a lot of sense to me. I, I think if Time would tell if we might say something like, oh, um, uh, uh, posts being of the same category should, while they get a point for that, that maybe that point should be more heavily weighted. So, you know, so they should get two points if it's in the same category, but only one if it's the same tag or something. And I'm not suggesting that, I, uh, but- uh, That's what I'm doing now. Oh, you are. Oh, it's two points for a category and yeah. one for tag. <laughs> and that's probably what you said earlier, and I didn't pay attention. Okay. Um, so the only other um, comments are, and I don't have um, great specific guidance, but it's, this, this, this couldn't be more ugly. <laughs> and, the, and this is about the same. Now that said, there, so, so before you do anything, we should go, we'll go do a uh, design so that we can like, so you can try to uh, do it like just to interrupt i would say uh the the uh plugin that we are using is going to change so like this design would also be changing like omka is already working on react speak do we have a preview of what that um is there a preview of that plugin no i like uh like i just dropped him a message but he said uh, that's something like the window size is showing some error in production mode. So like, I'll just pin him again, if he could provide by the end of the meeting. Oh, okay. Or I mean, rather the name of the plugin, I wonder if that page, that project or package page has a... No, it's React Sleek. Okay. Okay. Oops. I'll, uh, since, since I'm sharing, I won't digress and go look at it, but I'll try to find it later. So Tanuj built in a, um, <clears throat> a system, a scoring system to determine uh, relevance, relatedness.
two points for category. One point for. Beautiful. Wow. Well, Tanuj, what do you know? You're up. <laughs> By the way, drop the link for that uh, in the chat if you are to if oh, you just that. look at it. Oof, yeah. Boy, I didn't think it could get any uglier. <laughs> just, no, this, is, this, is, this is a step better. It's just like just barely so, but uh, we'll we'll get it figured um, out. Like it's probably fine here. Like this is the most uh, highly referenced and used, so that's the thing we are using this. It's it's not offensive, right? Like are the you know this? <laughs> <laughs> um, I th these could be okay, and then um, but yeah, just a little. We'll we'll. I, I think actually just making this more minimal, like. Oh shoot. Just a, just a, I don't know. I don't know how to write suggestion, but nice. Yeah, maybe okay. there could be some option for do that. Is Neil on? Neil. Uh, Alvarez. Okay. So I dropped him a message as well, but I don't think he's online. Okay. All right, fair enough. Anything else on the related posts? All right, Tanish. Yeah. So this next one is uh, to add a see more button on the learn page. We go learn. Oh, wait. Hey, by the way, did someone? No. Okay. I thought someone maybe had fixed part of the issues with the. Yeah, okay. No. Is Vinith on? No, Mr. Ready. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Uh, we're on the learn page. Yeah, so uh, I currently fixed the limit to three books for the learn page and four workshops, and I added a see more button to the complete books page and the workshop page. Uh, I, this I just added as a placeholder. I don't know what should be the design be, and I think there should be some description also here. Uh, so. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yes, there should. Yeah, it, it may also, it might also work well for both the books and the workshops to take, to, to cr basically create an entry in that collection that um, isn't about a specific book or a specific workshop, but is a generic description of the book. Like it, um, it's kind of nice to be able to have something of an of an inlay. Um, if we look at the current site for workshops, it used to be the case that this image was sort of randomly pasted into the middle somewhere just to break up. One, just to break up the collection, but then two, to... Um, so that you could provide a description of the fact that hey, that um, we common we frequently hold workshops on service mesh technologies and and to describe a bit about them. Uh, anyway, just thinking out loud about yeah, to news you're right. There needs to be a description of what these things are. It, that description, rather than that description just being um, above or below the collection, it might be nice to grab an area and uh, layer in the description. So. So more design, I, I've, I've tried to stop giving feedback on design without having it 
actually design visually designed because I'm desperately because uh, I'm trying not to go make there be a bunch of back and forth where you know we're you're doing a little bit and then we decide something else we decide something else and also because some of the feedback is probably poorly given without there having having been diligence and thought on the collection on all of it as a whole now now having said that just now in some respects it's not like it's a massive mistake to like if, if we publish the site today and this is using the wrong font is it is in this case i would say that's okay that's not the end of the world we could fix that even if it went live like that we don't want to do that but but um we do we do want to publish the site before the end of the month so um come hell or high water i guess or, or come something so uh that thank you tanusha the it makes sense that you're cutting you're you're taking two different collections you're cutting them off at based on their relative size is that um a, a hard-coded number three and six or three and nine or is that a percentage of their overall collection number uh, it's hard coded num it's hard coded i can change it if uh, but i do i don't know what uh, what should it be so i kept say and four for now right yeah i don't know if you tried i don't know but i was i was so impressed with what you've done on the the system above that now uh, <laughs> it's sort of you kind of one step forward for you and then sort of one step back so kind of sort of back to being unimpressed <laughs> I don't I think for for now like I don't I don't know that there is going to be a magic number because the if you said like right now if there's four blog four po books by the way so, good god soon there will be seriously in, in about a month and a half there'll be a, an early early release of a fifth anyway I don't think the percentage is going to work out um well enough we it's not like they changed that much hopefully I mean we're having two workshops this week by the way Oh shit, I forgot I'm having two more shots. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know that there's a magic number. And so um, thanks for this too. Anybody else have feedback on learn more? My feedback is that I still don't like the uh, the lightweight or the, the light button color. Um, this it just looks it looks it looks like the site has been <clears throat> in the sun too long and it's faded <laughs> anyway again like i don't necessarily expect anyone do anything about that because i'd rather that we had a common design that we you know are trying to stick to so Okay. All right, else? you're up. Oh, nice. All right, very good. So, uh, hey, Vishal and uh, Kashyap and Ayush, actually, and maybe some other people. I'm not sure. Oh, damn it. Why is that's maybe we shouldn't use mine. So, so um, hey, hey, guys, for each, some of you on the call um, are aware that if you're if you're here long enough then uh, we try to uplift your work um, as you go. And part of uplifting any of the work, and by the way, the work isn't necessarily writing code. It's uh, just being on a call, actually. Um, just being engaged in the community, um, using the tools, giving feedback on the tools, not even using the tools, just coming and giving feedback on the site or, or, set, or, or talking about how the community is managed. Like, hey, I didn't get welcomed for like, two days after I joined and then finally I did. I wasn't even sure that there was a community. There's any, any, like any amount of engagement is great. And that means that you're, you eventually become um, a consistent um, quote unquote contributor, just a consistent community member. And we've had, you know, there's like um, almost 1300 uh, people who have joined the community Slack and that sort of forms the center of the community. And eventually um, we get, you know, people, you hang out long enough and you get your face put up here with a profile 
And it used to be the case that we would just put people's picture and, and their name. Eventually we um, get to know people better and we start to list out how to get in contact with them. And, and as we're improving how it is that we're representing the members of the community, um, we're that is starting to take better shape around um, identifying a little bit about how, how they're engaged or to what degree. So there are contributors here, there are maintainers here, there are mesh mates here. Uh, at some point there will be mesh masters here. There are um, project leads, there are working group leads. There's, there's quite a few hats to be worn. Anyway, for Vinayak, um, he wears a contributor hat and actually Vinayak is sort of the, the last one responsible for redesigning this page. So if you can see, there's a small animation that happens where the a border radius is applied, which is a design element that as we go to use that here, we should consider we might do some similar, use something similar in other areas. Anyway, point is uh, most of the members um, don't have all those details here, a small bio, where they're from, and what projects they've been affiliated with or that they've, excuse me, spent time on. So Vinayak's um, profile is just an example profile of the various projects that people might have been involved in. So there's a Shri operator. <clears throat> there's a, a new project that we that's called Get Nighthawk. It'll have its own logo soon. There's the land service mesh landscape. There's image. There's there's all these. So um, it's up to the community member to. So so as we go to revise these, there's a call to action for every community member to come back and fill in their additional details. And so some of you that are on the call actually probably need to come submit a PR to update your existing profile details. If you don't have a, a member profile on the site and one is desired, that's fantastic. And it is, um, well, my hope is that it's something of a, uh, a badge of honor for those that have been around long enough. It's, it's something that, in, it, yeah. If you'd like to have a card up here, please let, please let me know. I would be interested in that. And, uh, and you have to earn it, I guess is what I'm saying. And that's in part why we try to make it look so nice because uh, we want to uplift people who are helping. And that's one of like 19 ways that we uplift people. So that's, that's that though. Does anybody have any feedback? This is just, I'm bringing up mine only as a different example. It's just, it's only Vinayaks and I think mine that have had stuff added. Uh, I just had a question like, uh, are we going to fix those uh, badges, like only those, like uh, there won't be anything uh, extra apart from these seven things? Let me go back to be nice. I, um, say more, like a label or like, um, or like additional projects or? Yeah, like I mean, uh, there won't be any other badge, like the whoever the contributor is uh, has to pick uh, out of these seven things only, right? Oh, um, so there's one, yeah, there, there's, so there's one here that's, it's a community badge that um, is really intended. For, yeah, we probably need a better description about sort of how and where the badges get um, assigned. There's, to date, there's only been one badge that has really ever been assigned and it's, or assigned slash earned. And it's this, this mesh mate badge. And certainly people who are mesh mates um, have to do a bit of work and they have to, um, it would be unfair to them if others sort of accidentally or willy nilly assigned it to their profile. Um, if they aren't doing that same work, if they're not, putting in that time and effort. And so I think given that we do, that all of the updates to the site are made through pull requests, all of the updates are um, reviewed. So I don't consider that we'll have in, any inappropriate 
behavior. Um, but to lay down a quick, this, this, what I'm about to say needs to be written down and, and publicly available, but it's sort of like, hey, when, when would I, and when is it appropriate to assign a badge? Um, for, the most, for the most part, like most of the badges that are here, I think it's, it's sort of left to the community member for they themselves to say, hey, I feel like I'm familiar enough with Mashery. Maybe I've just used it. Maybe I just understand it. Maybe I've contributed a lot of code to it. Maybe I've worked on the docs. Maybe I've recorded a video to show others how to use it, whatever it is that if they're feeling comfortable with the project um, and to potentially com you know, comfortable enough to have others come talk to them about it, then to me, that's sort of the, probably the bar by which they should, you know, that they would be encouraged to assign that badge. Yeah, like that badge. can be, like that we can uh, look into when we review those PRs. But like if we have uh, something like a convention or something, it would be better. Like we won't be telling each of those, uh, let's say 100 people that this is how you can do that or something like that. Yeah, like a, yeah. You mean sort of what the essentially what I what I was just saying, but kind of written down somewhere that they can reference. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, so, yeah, and yeah. and. Uh, sorry for interrupt. Yeah, one thing I had like, uh, if someone is saying that he has contributed to Mashri or some other project, then we can't say that no, you haven't, and we won't be adding a batch. So I was saying, isn't there any GitHub API through which we can dynamically fetch if he or she has fetch, uh, contributed to that project and only yeah. that batch will be displayed? Yeah, that's a good, yes, there, there, there most certainly is. And then, and then this next thing gets in the way, which is, well, so, uh, random, just randomly, uh, uh, I'm calling on examples like someone like Adina is. Uh, maybe that, okay, that's not a great example. Um, um, so, so, so a good example is. Um, hmm, is um, Pratya. Um, we have a couple of Pratyas, but the, uh, oh, I'm sorry, geez, Pratik Tripathi. Um, you know, um, great guy, good, good community member, um, has actually been focusing on community, has helped um, make sure that we've been active in <clears throat> Hacktoberfest and has, he's done a number of things. Certainly, I think he would want to assign himself the community badge. Um, Oh, God. I guess what I'm trying to say is not all contributions are tracked in GitHub. Yeah, that, that uh, so uh, what I meant was like if someone is being listed on the site, then we can have. Yeah. Oh, you mean just at, in addition, not necessarily to determine whether or not they should have a badge? But... Uh, no, no. I was thinking like we can have, add the co community badge to every one of them. But then I was thinking like, no, that would be unfair to some other people. So <laughs> I don't know then that can't be done. Yeah, you're right. Uh, there's a little bit more thought that probably needs to go into this, but it, but I think the community badge right now is probably intended to be um, when, when people join and they fill in their, their community member form. Um, and, and they're I saying, guess, hey, what? like for the community form uh, batch, we can add a, uh, what we say in the MD5. Uh, that yeah. key and a value, what we say to that. I don't remember the name yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah we can sure. add like for that uh, community. Yes, if that he has that option, then only show that batch else. Every other thing will be fetched from GitHub, like if possible. Yeah. That, um... Yes, right. And Vishal, great, great question as well. Like, 
I think in part Vishal's question and then Josh's comment, um, Nikhil's comment goes to uh, goes to say that hey, we do, we need to be explicit and have some have some rules, if you will, or some system. Um, this some of this stuff is is hard to get right. You you got to try to get it right from the start because it's going to feel really bad if you strip off a badge from someone later. Um, and it's also hard because a lot of it's soft. So here, here's a good example. So Prem Sankar, he's, he hasn't contributed um, an, a lick of code anywhere. Although what Prem did do is um, he, his employee, um, it starts with an H. It's been a year, so it's hard to remember. H, 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 H. Harshini, his employee wrote the network service mesh adapter, the NSM adapter. Okay, well, that doesn't really mean that Prem is necessarily in the community, does it? No, but what Prem did do is co-present with us Meshri love, you know, NSM loves Meshri or, you know, at uh, N the first NSM network service mesh con. And so like, hey, he got up on stage at, at KubeCon with us and talked about Meshri and NSM. Now that feels like contributing to me, <laughs> um, although he didn't do any you know coding, um, but he did assign an employee to help with coding, and he did you know he was engaged and he's very nice and he's very promotional of Layer Five. He's a, he's a friend of the of Layer Five, and so what I'm trying to say is some of it's so so soft, or it's like yeah, someone wrote a blog post, or they wrote a few, or they and anyway, and this is why like the community building up one and having all the individual relationships with every single person that comes through is very much desired. It takes a lot of darn time. And uh, some of it's just a judgment call as well. So the, the, the bitch of it is um, that right now, you know, we have inactive and active. Well, I gotta tell you actually, Peng hasn't been around for a couple, couple three months now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is he still active? Well, I don't know. I do know that if he ever comes, that for anyone who comes to look and they see themselves as an inactive, some folks that come to look, they're like, oh yeah, but, you know, clearly I haven't been here in a year. Um, but where that line is and what constitutes contributing things, it needs to be written down, but, uh, and it needs to be done in such a way that the two things are held in balance. One is that um, just because you have a card up here, um, you doesn't mean that you should have any badge. The, having a card, a profile is enough of a badge, un, a badge unto its own. Um, it's not the case that everyone should have the community badge. No, no, no. The community badge is for those like Pratik who, who said, hey, I, I'm here and actually I think I can help with um, some events and some organizing and, and making sure that people have the right resource. I can help with community. And he has been. And and th thus, you know, therefore should carry that badge. He, and that's the only badge that Pratik should carry because uh, he just hasn't materially contributed to any of the other projects or I think onesie twosie things. And those are totally appreciated and not to be um, downplayed at all that how appreciated those are, but they're not nearly on the order of contribution of that others have done for those projects. And so where that line is, oh, okay. Oh, well, let's, let's, let's say it's after three pull requests. Okay. Yeah. But again, it's not all about pull requests. Now that said, if it was three blog posts, each of those blog posts go into a pull request. Well, then it kind of is about, you know, there's some things that are softer or not non code things. You can still measure in a pull request. And like to answer Vishal's question, like, yes, absolutely. If someone's here writing a blog, um, that means they're probably materially engaged and it's it's more about giving back and helping uplift those that are that are giving to the community so the problem is like well it can't just be a hey they landed three prs so automatic that's the checkbox for them to get the the uh the profile well why why well because they might have had one line in each pr or something and whereas someone else had or five thousand commits in one pr or something it's like well so it, it all breaks down and no, I wouldn't use the GitHub API to do any, it, you'll never, you'll just wish, uh, 
it, I would use the GitHub API to just show like how many commits or how many PRs that a given individual has done or how many issues or reviews or what, like, and that's the thing as well is like that, that they've done collectively across all the repos in the org. Well, what about um, when um, Nikhil is going over to the open service mesh community and opening up an issue over there to ask that they um, have, you know, create a listing in the landscape here. What that doesn't, that doesn't count. That's not, well, technically it doesn't, or it doesn't get counted because that was in a different org. And so we don't count that. Okay. But well, what if all I've been doing is I've been spending a ton of time finding, discovering issues and documenting the crap out of them, listing down the re, the repro, repro steps and all like, there's so many examples of things you can't programmatically quantify. And that is actually really hard to quantify um, even outside of being programmatic about it. Uh, is one, oh, you wrote three blog posts, but yours were a paragraph a piece, whereas the other ones had videos and like, it's all a soft, it's all about relationships and people and um, understanding where they're at and how they feel. Natish has done some very impactful things here and um, and he's inactive and needs to be represented as such, but um, but he might come back next week. And so if he sees this inactive, he'll feel bad about it. So it's so all very delicate. So from the very first moment that we put up the very first profile, I was extremely hesitant to do it because, because the way that most people feel is that it's a one way thing. You're sort of, you're feeling good, you're feeling good, you're feeling good. And yeah, it can be difficult. That's in part why we're still trying to represent people, even though they might be inactive is because it's not like just because the adapter is a year old doesn't mean that we don't aren't as thankful for that time spent now as we were then. And we shouldn't have this conversation now because we've only spoken. So what ha needs to happen to everyone's point, some rules need to be written down. Some rules already are written down about the contributor ladder. Um, what it means when it is appropriate, and Josh was just doing this with a member this morning. When is it appropriate to invite someone's GitHub user to the, the Layer Five IO org? When is it appropriate, and at what point in time should we invite them to have a profile? It's a bunch of touchy feely stuff. We can write write some of it down, but even at that, there isn't going to be a clear delineation or a clear demarcation. Um, which, yeah, it's in part why, like, I, I don't you know, I don't know, I'm, I'm the right thing for us to do to have some badges to represent the fact that a given individual is focused on one project or the next, it helps as you could imagine that what would be ideal on a page is if you're looking here um, and you're like, okay, actually, you could have this direct to the project page, great, or you could have it filter on the list of all members who are also into meshery. Um, and Nikhil, I do think that there is merit in interfacing with GitHub API and pulling back some stats. The thing is, okay, is it PRs? Is it commits? Is it reviews? Is it closed PRs only? And, and, and that's fine. Like, hey, we don't have to sit here and talk about that for a long time. It can just be, uh, it's commits or whatever. Fine, let's commit. Some, let's just show show some numbers and and some if people care enough and things, some some people will always try to game the system. Well, I'm just going to do a bunch of commits, you know, like in the same PR. Uh, fine, actually, to me that's flattering, and it's kind of flattering to all of you that someone cares enough to try to game the system. Um, the only area where that is slightly um, frustrating is when or if it detracts or if it detracts from someone else who's here and is consistently here and is trying to do good things and they look at their profile and think geez i only have like 35 commits and that other person has 50 geez mine and they and if they themselves internalize it and feel bad about it then then gaming the system is an issue so when you create this system 
um, it needs to be flexible. Yeah, or yeah, or the psychology around um, what you're inherently as you. So if, if we listed statistics, even if the thought for us was, hey, we're not saying that pick commits are more important than PRs. We're just listing out stats. Like this is just that. That said, people assign mentally, they assign value to them or they don't, or they, they can interpret them in different ways. It would be like, hey, hey, why don't we have a, a leaderboard um, for all the contributors to just say, you know, here's who's got the most issues closed. Wouldn't that, or well, wouldn't gamification um, be helpful to maybe inspire people to get some issues closed more quickly? On one hand, yes, it absolutely would. On the other hand, if you're working on a super hard issue <laughs> and someone else is closing all the easy, stupid, silly ones, hmm, it just, it's, yeah, so. It might also lead to a poor quality of code submission. I yeah, think. you gotta you hit it all, hit it on the head. What I thought you just, did you just say Hacktoberfest? I thought you just said Hacktoberfest. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I did. And I contributed <laughs> it to <well> as well. <laughs> yeah, sure. I've got my shirt right here, man. I, uh, yeah, I know. Um, yeah, yeah. It's it's a, it's a right. It's it's those darn humans that like all of us that kind of get in the way of ourselves. <laughs> like, oh. And so the the reality is like, look, do, um, I'll use this as an example. Um, we we've just we just lost a. a just lost a good soldier. We just lost a meshmate, um, Nipur. She, Nipur herself is just fine, but she has graduated from the program. She's saying she's, uh, she'd been here for a year, done awesome things, helped tons of people, countless people. Um, and, and yet, she, 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 you know, she's, her, she's ready to focus elsewhere. So she's, she's being moved to um, emeritus status. Or she, you know, she, we want to thank her for all the time that she put in. And, um, but she's not going to be active in that, wearing that hat anymore. And what I'm trying to, I'm, well, here's what I'm trying to say is we actually need about twice as many mesh mates because when Vishal and Keshap and, um, and Ayush and everyone, when, when people join and they're like, Hey, what, you know, I'd like to do some, you know, what are you guys doing with Kubernetes? Are you guys using Argo CD or you guys, uh, blah, 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 you know, like just when people want to engage and do things, that's what that's in part what meshmates are here for is to engage folks and help them get familiarized with the community and the projects and we need more of them so even though we need twice as many um the process of so i've warned josh about this in the past that he's he as he as he more or less has been doing that with people he's in danger of becoming a meshmate the, the thing is, is it takes um, we couldn't just go over and assign that to Josh unless he's doing it. The, the, the people have to be doing it to be able to. And, and so that I'm just kind of thinking out loud about the other badges. It's like, okay, well, yeah, I don't know. The, the, um, there needs to be some rules around the stuff. I think those, but this badge, I hope is one of, of pride. And when we create the Mesh Masters badge, I hope that that's, an even more nerdy, an even higher level of nerdiness um, and that people take pride in it. The other um, quote unquote badges, I do hope that people are proud to have a star span, you know, a badge studded profile. But in part, my thinking or the, th and maybe we need to change the design so that it becomes a little more distinct that this is a badge and this is something to be respected. And, and, you know, and while the others are more like areas of focus or, hey, or areas of interest, and we should really clarify what that, what, what this means. You, I agree with all of you. It's, it's confusing. So did they contribute to this? Are they knowledgeable on it? Are they interested in that? Um, or what, or uh, we'll go, I'll go write that down and socialize that with, um, with you all. Shridi will be um, uh, putting in her thoughts as well. 
and then we'll ask for your feedback. And Nikhil, uh, I, I, I was saying earlier, oh, we shouldn't use the GitHub API for qualifying whether that, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't use the GitHub API for some other things. Like, even though um, it, it would actually be, even though like having an, that leaderboard that I was talking about, um, well, first of all, geez, you can just go to GitHub itself, go look and like, there's a leaderboard over there. Who, who's, who's put in the most commits or, or who's done that lately or what have you. Moreover, when we have a community call on Fridays or even now when we're talking about what we're implicitly doing is basically stepping through recent commits and talking about them and recent contributions, right? We're kind of walking. And so actually having a rolling, like, hey, this week's, um, you could imagine as part of the community, as part of the, the program that we have is that like, hey, hey, we, you know, we want to thank this week's leaders. Boom, boom. And, and, oh, you know, anyway, interfacing with GitHub, it would be good. There's some stuff we want to pull back. It would be interesting, just so some other, just other interesting things to show. Like right now, we we keep track of the number of people who use Meshery, who sign in, authenticate, and sign in. That would be, I think, that would be great to show on the Meshery project page. Like today, I don't know if it's on this particular page, but if today you can see. How many people, how many tests have been run? And that's pretty cool. Actually, maybe it'd be nice if it was a small timeline, like um, same thing, same thing for the community. Yeah, there's definitely ways that we can lay into, uh, layer in some stats. So maybe the stats are um, not specific to a person, but or where we might want to start is like number of, rate, uh, number of community members. Um, rate of commits across the projects or fastest growing project or like something that's anonymous to individual people, but still could be taken yeah, as a point of pride or. Uh, yeah. So like, as Lee said, it's anonymous. So we won't be discussing it over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But. Um, yeah, there's, there's a bunch of stuff in the community that I would love to, for us to do. One is like, since um, I keep on picking on um, both of the Vishals and, and Kashyap on the phone, is that um, if they, if if these individuals were inclined, like I'd like to send out a tweet that says, "Hey, you know, it's been really, you know, it's really nice to welcome Vishal into the community," and. Uh, to do much more of that sort of a thing and or to make sure that everyone that joins the community understands that the blogs out here are that they're welcome to contribute to these as well that and this actually i need this this is what needs to go onto the about page on the community is a bit of a description of the fact that um the layer five open source community is a platform for shared success something for people to hoist themselves up on and push themselves and, and graduate from, if that's what makes sense. And part of that is that people are most welcome to come and present something here to impact the projects, to write a blog post, to, to do a, a YouTube thing. All right. we would... uh, I'm really, really sorry to interrupt here. Battery settlement's over. Oh. And we should probably be allowing anybody with a meeting in the next five minutes to leave. Um, we're almost done with the agenda today. And I'm really sorry to interrupt you, Lee. If you nope. want to finish, please go ahead. No, 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 no thanks. No, that's the area. <laughs> Take All right. Um, Josh, uh, the 1226 issue. There's nothing much to discuss there, really. Um, I just wanted to ask what kind of descriptions you wanted. 
Yeah, like as Tanuj pointed out that we need a description on pages. Uh, like, let's say if it's the books page, then we need to write something like uh, we write books uh, like Lee can write something like Lee is the author of many books and something like that. Like it just shows the collection only like if you open the books page, it shows four cards, nothing else. So like we need to have something more than that. And, and it, it occurs in many pages. Like we discussed it in last meeting as well. Mm -hmm. And I told Lee if he could just yeah, so like if you could have a paragraph or something, it could be very good. And we have many pages like this, like let's say careers or projects, books, workshops, all of this. Uh, they do have only the cards, nothing else. Oh, uh, by the way, Lee, could you go, go to the mystery page? Yep. Um, could you scroll down a tiny bit? Uh, this is incomplete by the way. Achso, okay, then I won't. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, it's totally uh, not. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. Uh, that's, uh, no, no, I wanted to point something out that I saw before, but <laughs> if the page is incomplete, then I have no yeah, way like, to do that. Uh, for the thing I discussed, I created an issue, opened up, and I tagged you and Lee, so like you can, you both can figure out how do we do that things. All right. Um, that concludes the active agenda for today, I suppose. And uh, like the new just, issues, yeah. Yeah, just uh, two minutes if you can just open back the screen. Mm, yeah, sure, let me. Okay. Yeah, like anyone on the call, there are four issues, like two of them are old and two are like really new and anyone wants to pick them up. Uh, like they are very straightforward issues, uh, just uh, some things to add in a page or something like that. So if you can... Uh, take if you want to learn or if you want to do something like you can take those up. Nice. All right. Sh Sh anything else, um, Shridi? Uh, nope. That's it for today. I think. If nobody else has anything else. Um, Nikhil, I'll note that in the meeting minutes, the parts that need to be changed. Yeah, like we can just discuss it over like we had something in mind of that. All right, great. Um, that reminds me, the doc site permalink has also been changed. That needs to be regurgitated across the projects. There are links several, in several places. All right. Um, that's it. That's it. Uh, thank you for coming on. Everybody, thank you for staying in the call for 10 extra minutes. That usually happens, so I won't <laughs> go and <laughs> try to negate that. Uh, but thank you for coming on. Same time next week for this particular meeting. If you want to attend other community meetings, go look at the table on layer 5. Go talk on Slack. That's it. Thank you. See you. Thank you, Shudi. Yeah. Bye. Bye.